broadcasting from Fentas, Kuwait. This is the Me and Larry reality video show. LTL editorial news for November 11, 2009 continues. Now, we talk about uh, what went on last week with uh, Major Nidal Malik Hassan. And, of course, today's news story target on the, the loss of the um, soldiers, which is 13 soldiers that died. Um, and, of course, he was the known suspect that came in there and shot up and killed 13 and wounded others. They don't want to bring up his name. You might as well bring up his name because you already put it up last week. But the key thing was, I told last, uh, last night about taking him, you know, taking somebody out of the equation. When you take something out of the equation, uh, you don't, you still don't come up with the answer. It's just like when you don't have no um, question, you don't have no problem, solution is solved, it's useless. The answer is useless, but if you take something out of the equation, you won't have an answer either. So, in this case, right there and there, that should have been taken care of right there in Pathasa, Maryland. But what's happening is, of course, they're going to say now the Muslims are more going to be more and more targeted. Which comes down to this in America and the world today. Because now if you're allowing outside forces, you see, going back to uh, where it was in Afghanistan in 1979 when the founder of Al Qaeda group, which is Yusuf Salam, and along with his sidekick, financial, uh, you might as well say a financial supplier, he wasn't an advisor, supplier, and he's up in the mountains still, Osama Bin Laden, those two cooked up a terrorist group because they was against, uh, once again, the policy and there's rebellion. Of course, they're going to use religion because, of course, they're going to be, they are that type of religion of Muslim. And so, here it is, every time you see, hear the news media, CNN, or anybody else, BBC, they're going to say Islamic um, terrorist group, Islamic um group and what it's going to target on is Muslims and they don't really understand what the Muslim belief are but when you add outside forces into it that would make the religion more targeted and the religion weak so the thing is, to address it, Muslims need to address what Muslim religion is, once again. Because what's happening is it's getting weak and it's more in, being more influenced by the terrorist group to say, hey, well, I got this problem. All right, let's get these activists to uh, go in there. And that's uh, put it in their heads. While they praying, they adding these thoughts saying, Why should you fight? You shouldn't fight. You got to end these wars. You got to end them. Tell them to end them. Put, get strapped on. You are doing it for Allah. You are being suicidal, a bomber, or, or do any criminal acts. 
and just like some uh, Samaya, they are influencing activists to believe this stuff, which takes away the religion, but add more of the terrorism in the religion. And it shouldn't mix like that. I know politics and religion doesn't mix, and so does uh, terrorism and religion doesn't mix. It's not of a hate group. I thought God is of love, not of hate. You don't force it. It's just like America trying to force Christianity. You're not forced to force that too. It's a free. Everything is free. Religion should be free. It should be. Not to get into a part where it becomes extremeless. It's, it's terrible and it's a sad thing. But then when they become more targeted and because it's more influenced because they give their souls, they give their hearts to Allah, they pray uh, five times a day. And it's just, you know, the cleansing and everything. And God is love, you know, the peace. Allah is for peace. Inshallah. But then when you have somebody of outside forces or group, you might as well just like allow a government to just get inside some um, people's heads. Say, well, this is going what you're going to do. That's why I talked about the spotlight on the conspiracy theory of Malcolm X. When uh, he left America for a while to go to the Mecca and see different types of colors and people from different nationalities. And it, it, it was like a change from just concentrating on just what America was, but of a world base now, a global base. But they didn't want to hear that. And so they were sold out, Muslim uh, and the is uh, nation of Islam and the Islamic, were sold out by either the CIA or the government, U.S. government. Now the same thing is happening f uh, elsewhere, global-wise, through governments or through terrorist groups who is fed up and, they, and their agenda is to just take out enemy, enemy spirits. That's what's going on. Now Muhammad Ali, uh, a major uh, Nadal Malik Hassan would have listened to Muhammad Ali or maybe somebody who was, you know, a part of like Muhammad Ali would have talked to him at that time in Bethesda, Maryland. Say, hey, we understand. You don't need to go out there. You don't need. Or either when he went, he was about to go to Fort, uh, when he was in Fort Hood, about to go to Iraq and Afghanistan. He's frustrated about it. He could have got with some uh, group like that or Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali refused to go and fight for his country in war because he didn't believe it. And his religion was a, a, a Muslim religion. And he's the most respected person in the world today. Number one in, in sports over a century. So if you can get that from a Muhammad Ali, and he was very respectful, and I wish he could get a Nobel Peace Prize, just being respected and didn't have to uh, fight to win. Just be uh, he had the mouth, but he'd be able to uh, relate to people, all nationalities, all different religions, as respect. If he would have got uh, influenced by that, none of this would happen. Don't take nothing out of the equation um, to the uh, people, Muslim uh, people. Find the true religion. Don't let outside 
uh, forces get into it. That's that goes for all religion. If if it's not of God's love or Allah's love, then that's no love at all, and it's not good for that religion. I'll be back with more LTL editorial news.